What better day than the day that we're celebrating the resurrection power of Jesus Christ? Because baptism, what it is, it's symbolic of our old man going into the water. And as we come out of the water, our new man is coming to life through the power of Jesus Christ, the resurrection power of Jesus living inside of us. And so right now, we have seven lovely people who are going to be getting baptized today. So let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ for saving their souls and their dedication to Jesus Christ. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the first clip. Hi, my name is Sarah Jagdachuk, and I got saved when I was seven years old. Since then, I've been practicing to join the worship team with Alexandria, and I've been reading my Bible, and my life's been more happy. Today, I'm getting baptized because I want everyone to know that I'm following Sarah, me. do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Renee Francisco. I've been coming to Hungry Gen for three years. God has saved me from depression and suicidal thoughts. I've been serving faithfully all this time in camera team, security, and anywhere where I can help. And today I'm getting baptized because I want the world to know that I want to follow Jesus for the rest of my life. So Francisco, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Omar Polito. Um, I was raised in a Catholic household. Uh, I always knew about the idea of following Jesus. Uh, never really, never really dabbled in it too much. My parents had an idea of, hey, maybe you guys should do this, but never really pressured us into doing it. Just the idea of of having a place like that was never something you know we we mess with. Um, a couple years ago, I had friends trying to get me to visit church with them. I never really went. Never really saw reason to. Didn't think, you know, what people think. You know, oh, he's one of those Jesus people. It's like, oh, well, yeah, you know. Um, it wasn't until my life started spiraling, uh, started, you know, heavy on drugs, heavy on alcohol, started dabbling into things I shouldn't be doing. Um, not really content and happy with what was going on. Uh, that I said, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. Uh, on December 23rd this last year. Um, I went to service for the first time, and uh, that is probably the best decision I ever made. Uh, I dedicated my life to following Jesus at that, that very service, and I haven't looked back since. And today, I'm choosing to be baptized uh, in my next step in this path following Jesus Christ. So, Omar, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello, my name is Anna Gonzalez. Um, I dedicated my life to Christ about a year ago. Um, some of the good things that he's helped me get through is my depression, anxiety, and today, I am getting baptized to let the world know that I am giving my life to Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. So, Anna, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. One of the things I used to struggle with was isolation, depression, and just not thinking I was worthy enough of anything. At the Race to Deliver conference, I rededicated myself to Jesus. My life since then has been so much better, full of joy. I believe in myself, 
and I just want to continue sharing it to the world. And today I'm getting baptized because I want the world to know that I'm following Jesus. Amen. Ricardo, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I um, have been coming to Generation, uh, Hungry Generation Church off and on for a couple of years. Um, I recently, uh, about four months ago, uh, came to a prophetic word on a Saturday. On that Saturday, I was extremely, extremely touched. And um, at that moment, I rededicated my life to Christ. And um, prior to my rededication, I had extreme anxiety and had struggled for months with sleeping not being able to sleep, waking up in the middle of the night and with nightmares. Um, but since my rededication, I have not had one sleepless night, not one. I constantly am praying throughout my day. Just, it's like a normal conversation, but it's it's just him and me. And everything I do, I don't, I, he's there with me every day. I feel joy and I feel peace that I've never felt ever in my life. Today I'm going to get baptized because I want the world to know that I live for Jesus. Sherry, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I, yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Selena, and I rededicated my life to Jesus a week ago. Um, before that, I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, depression, and isolation for over four years. And um, after my baptism, I'm really excited to see what the Lord has in store for me. And today I'm getting baptized because I want everyone to know I'm following Jesus. Come on. Selena. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. to show the world I'm following Jesus. Amen. So, Aliana, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Katie McIntosh. I gave my life to Christ when I was 17. Um, after that, though, I fell into some sin, a really heavy sin with drugs and unhealthy, toxic, abusive relationships. Now that I've been rebuilding my relationship with Jesus Christ and coming to church, um, I am just full of joy. And I'm so grateful. I wake up every morning with a grateful heart and um, wanting to live for Him wanting to serve him. It's no longer all about me and what I can get. Uh, it's what I can give. Today I'm getting baptized because I want everyone to know that I'm following Jesus. So Katie, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.